whether you're eating a sandwich, working at the office, or even skydiving, there's always time for OCN. Good evening. Thank you for joining us on the OCN television program. This is called The Lord Reigns. Hallelujah. Today, I am a guest of uh, Bishop Nikki, and I just want to honor her. Um, God bless you, woman of God. And I have a special sister with me tonight. Her name is Margot Williams. Margot um, has been a sister of mine for about 10 years now, and so we've been doing ministry um, together and pray for each other and always like encourage one another. So she's going to be able to share a little bit about what God is doing in her life. But tonight, we're right now, I just want to pray for you first and, you know, open up this session in prayer. So dear Heavenly Father, I just come to you right now, Lord. I just ask you, Father, that you would bring the people who need to listen to this uh, TV program tonight, Father God. It says the Lord reigns, Father. You reign yes, all over us, Father. Reign over us, Jesus. Help us to do your will. Help us to be in your will. Help us, Holy Spirit, to guide us and direct us, Father. Lord, we praise you. We thank you for this special night tonight. Bless us, Father, and let those words come out of our mouth, Lord, that are from you and not ours. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so tonight... I'm so excited because it's been a while since I've, you know, actually been on a TV set, and I give God the glory, and I am, I'm just on fire tonight to, to wait and see what God is going to do with us, you know, and, and I know you feel the same way, yeah. it's been, you know, I know since COVID for me to be on TV, so I'm, I'm just uh, grateful that God has brought us together, yeah. and, um, you know, I just have a, a really, a, a quick testimony and miracle of which I was kind of sharing with you a little bit I I want to encourage all of you that that for you to declare things you know to to speak positive into someone's life because you just never know what's going to come out of that and and if you are led by the Holy Spirit then you got to be obedient Amen. and once you are obedient I'm telling you then doors start opening windows start opening you know the the heavens open for you and it's a blessing, and, and so I'm, I'm here to share tonight a, a, a miracle that happened and, and how God will use you. This is not to boast about myself. No, I give God all the glory. I just want to encourage you that when you do declare the words from the Holy Spirit, good things happen, great things happen, yes, yes. right? So I, I, I was informed by the Holy Spirit to give um, a donation, an offering to three pastors um, of this church, and and I did. I didn't ask why or anything like that. I just knew it was the Holy Spirit, and I'm telling you that that the Holy Spirit told me that He was going to multiply the money that I gave to these three pastors. And not only that, but the Lord spoke to me and He said, um, "I said, why three, Lord?" He said, "Because resurrection power." You know, and when you think about the resurrection power, there's like, there's nothing that can stop God from doing what God wants you to do. And, and he's going to bless the blesser, you know, and he's going to turn around the situations. And so anyway, this man of God who I 
said that God was going to multiply this donation, this offering, uh, this, this gift. He called me up last night, and he said, woman of God, he goes, are you sitting down? And I said, yes, I am. <laughs> I get, actually, I was asleep, and I, I woke up, and it's so crazy because I never hear the phone ring when everyone else is calling me, as you know. Mm -hmm. and, and so he, he said, I just received a phone call from a lady from our church who is going to give $500,000, which is a half a million dollars, to the church. And I had to call that man of God up pastor today to say, hey, was that really true? Was I dreaming that? And he said, no, sister, it was not a dream. He said, the word that you gave him because of your obedience, he knows the Holy Spirit did that. And it was a manifestation of what God can do. And if he can do it through me, he can do it yes. for you too. And so that's a quick testimony of what God, I, I know there's so many other things that we have to talk about, but I, I encourage you to declare the word of God, speak life over situations and watch God manifest his glory, watch him manifest his power. So my sister Margo, I know that you have some beautiful testimonies as well. Yes. And first of all, I, I want to know if, if um, what, do you have a, a, a name of your ministry? Triumphantly Purpose. Okay, and, wh Triumphant and what is it that you're doing with this ministry? I minister to young girls, well, whoever the Lord leads me to. Amen. So my ministry is mostly women and girls. Um, I have gone through homelessness, so I help those that come out of homelessness, those that need resources. So through my situation, I gained a lot of resources, and that has become part of the ministry. I am an advocate against domestic violence, as well as working with the Suicide Prevention Association. So I am a um, speaker for them as well, to educate others. So this is all part of what I do to encourage those, not just in the body of Christ, but those that are not in the body of Christ yet, to draw them into the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, th and that's a beautiful, beautiful thing that you do. And as well as the ministry, um, which I belong to, is called the X Factor Ministry as well. And the Lord reigns, you know, and this is a perfect yes. segment because, you know, we give God the glory for, for him reigning on us. Amen. You know, it's not, it's not us, it's God yes. that it reigns upon us. And he's the one that, that we need to be listening to being obedient to, yes. so that God can do miracles in people's lives. Amen. Um, I, I do work um, for a Christian um, uh, company, and in that Christian company, we are always receiving on a daily basis um, homeless people, people that are addicted to drugs, um, the needy, the poor. I mean, w everyone comes into that store. And, and it's a blessing because... Uh, we actually have a homeless ministry within the store, um, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, which they give out free clothes, they give out towels, they give That's out beautiful. blankets, whatever it is that, that they have on hand, they will, they will give Amen. out. And again, the Lord reigns, right? Yes. So I, I'm encouraged by that, by the Lord reigning. And, and so if, if you, you know, are stuck or if you feel like, you know, you need a way out, or, you know, maybe you need to move and, and you just don't know how. Maybe you, you feel trapped in a situation. Maybe you, you feel like you, that you're not hearing God or that God is not with you. Or, you know, there's something that's bothering you and you can't make your way out of the situation that you're in. I encourage you to, to reach out to the Lord. Say, God, I need you. I, I need your help. And I'm telling you that the Holy Spirit will help you. He will do great and mighty things for you. Yes, he will. And, and if I wasn't there at that store, you know, I, it's a beautiful thing because I get paid for it, right? I mean, I get paid Amen. to pray for people, to help people. And, and I mean, this is what I would do, you know, anywhere. I mean, I, I, that's my that's part of my call is to help the needy. That's, I think Amen. everyone's call is to help the needy, to help the poor. And, and as the Lord reigns, you know, you will step out 
And, and I want to encourage you to step out. And when you see Amen. someone who needs a helping hand, you know, the woman that, that is stuck, Amen. you know, maybe, you know, um, the, the prostitute, yes, you know, yes. um, the woman who has been beaten, you know, to step out and reach out and show them love. Give them a little light. Share a little light. And I know, Margo, you could, you know, vouch for yeah. that because I know yeah. that you have helped many women. And Amen. if you wanted to share a testimony or two about, you know, these women that have been on the streets that you have actually talked to. Okay. Well, one of the, well, many of them have come back to me and I give God the glory. It just blesses my, my soul just for them to come back and say, Miss Margo, that's what they call me, you know, remember when you did this or that, but there's one young lady in particular that I met um, within ministry and she had cancer and she passed away. But before she passed away, she, we would talk on a regular basis. I would check up on her and she was going through some trying times. She had a very young child and she said, Miss Margo, the one thing that I want to do, I, I really look up to you. You know, I see how you've grown over the time I've known you. I would love to get a business started. And then we would talk and I would help her like write out the details and, you know, prepare, you know, the word of God says, write the vision, make it plain. And I used to always minister that to her, write the vision that the Lord has put in your heart. He's given it to you so it can be established. Amen. Do you know this woman of God came back to me and called me and said, I want to just tell you that I received my LLC license in the mail. It is official. She started two businesses. And the fact that I was able to see her do that, even though she was having a hard time with the cancer, she accomplished that thing that she desired. And the Lord allowed for her to do it. And so just so these young women can see, I don't have to be on the streets. I don't have to prostitute. I don't have to use drugs. I don't have to do all these things. I can get a business. I can be used of the Lord in the kingdom. And I can be an example of how <coughs> his glory is moving in the earth. Let me be that example. And so that's, that's one example of the young lady that passed away. It's, she's always in my mind. <laughs> Amen. You know, and it blesses me to know that I was able to be there for her. Yes. Yeah, Looking back. That's why it's so important, like you said, when the Lord sent people our way that we're quick to move. Yes. Because you don't know the story. Exactly. And I didn't know she was going to pass away. Wow. But when I found out she had passed away, just years of struggling with cancer, I looked back and I said, I thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be that willing vessel. Yes. To take the time out with her and minister and pray with her on the phone, even though yes. I had other things to do. I took the time. That's why it's important to be obedient, like you said. Amen. The obedience. Because we don't know what the Lord is doing when he sends people our way. That is so true. Yes. You know, I, I think that obedience is, is something that we all need to learn how to do. And, yes. And really, you know, we can, we can talk about the scripture all day long. And, and, and there's a lot of people that know the word of God, okay? But they're sitting. They're just sitting and they're not yes. doing the word of God. And the word of God is action. And that means that if God is calling you and he's telling you who you are and you're not doing anything about it, that's like what Margot said. You got to take a step. Yes. You have to move in that timeline Amen. because yeah, you may right. miss whatever God has called you to do. That's it. And, and what happens is when you start doing that, blessings start coming your way. Amen. Yes, we're all sinners. Yes. And you know, we're all short and we all sh fall short of the glory. Right. But, but God gives us a confidence. He gives That's us a right. boldness so that, That's so right. that we can go and do what he's asking us to do. And I, and I think about really like the prodigal son, you know, in, in Luke, how, how, you know, the, the son asked his father, there's two, two boys, two sons, and one of the sons, you know, worked on the farm, let's just say. And the other one said, hey, father, you know, I want half of my inheritance. Can I get it? And, and he says, yeah. So, so the father gives him his inheritance. He goes and he squanders all of his money away, you know, on, on probably things that he didn't even need, you know, and probably on women, you know, probably on alcohol. I mean, he was living his life with, when he had all this money. But what happens? A famine comes. 
and then he loses all of his money or, you know, yeah, he loses all of his money because he's squandering his money on, on things that aren't important. And, and so what happens, he realizes when he finally is working for a, a pig farmer that, wait a minute, my dad has servants and, you know, why don't I just go back there and I can be a servant too and that way I don't have to, you know, the pig is eating, you know, better than me. And, <laughs> and so, um, you know, I, I, I laugh about that because, you know, really, um, that's, that's how we are. We, we squander our money. We, 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 we squander the time that we have, my, you know, my, for my. doing things that we shouldn't be doing. You know, we, we, you know, I know in my life I was living in the world, not listening to God and not being obedient to the Lord. And, you know, I mean, I would go to church. I was one of those Christians who went to church and then I would come home and there'd be like a, you know, party, you know, maybe football was playing or something like that. And here comes the margaritas, here <laughs> comes the beer, you know, and all of that. And, and really, you know, I think about it now, I'm like, oh my gosh, like what a waste. But we have to go through that, those times sometimes because it, it defines that doesn't define who you are right then, right? Amen. Beca Amen. Because God defines who you are right now. When you have yes. come back to the Holy Spirit, come back to Jesus, come back to God, then, you know, God has a plan. He always had a plan for you. And, oh, and as yes. the Bible says, you know, he knew us before we were born, yes. right? And so as a prodigal son or prodigal daughter comes back to the Lord, it, it, it makes you realize, wow, you know, I, I wasted my life. You know, I wasted my time, you know, mm. and, I, and I think about sometimes like, man, I wish I was, you know, 30 years younger, you know, than I am now because I, I think about like, man, I could be doing so much more for the kingdom of yes. God. But it's a process. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Oh, yeah. Here's the thing, people. Here is the word. The process, you know, the breakthrough is it might be the delay, right? You, you, God's processing you. You're like, okay, God, where are you? When are you going to help me out? You know, and, and like as a prodigal son returns, as a prodigal daughter returns, here comes the blessing. The delay is your blessing to come because there has to have, you have to have something that you have to break through Amen. in order for God yes. to process you. And yes. if you're not being processed, that means there's not going to be a delay. That means there's not going to be a, any, yes. any, you know, breakthrough. There's not going to be something that you can attain, Amen. you know, and it's the crown of life is what we should be yes. trying to get the crown Amen. of life. Right. Amen. Yes. And I don't know about you, sister, but I believe that you are also a prodigal daughter. <laughs> and I know, I know. I mean, I, I, it's up to you if you want to share a little bit about the things that you've had to overcome in your life, you know, because we are, we are a um, transparent, Amen. you know, and we want people to know like, hey, you know what, these are the things that we went through. These are the things that, you know what, we did. I know we don't may, la may not look like it now, but trust me, we did some nasty things, some terrible things back in the day. But thank you, Jesus, for saving us. <laughs> thank you, Father. <laughs> You know, you know, when I look back, I was just listening to you. I don't, I used to regret the things I've done in my life, mm. but I don't any longer regret. Amen. Because it, it made me who I am today. Amen. You know, like when we talk, I can just see your growth and I know you see mine. Oh, You've yes. come a long way. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and it, it was part, like you said, the process, part of the process. Yeah. We had to break through some barriers. We had to fall and we had to go through hard times, trying times, but that's what make us stronger. You know, I've gone through domestic violence. I mean, I've had guns put to my head in my, in my younger years, just the things that I look back on and it just, it's letting me know that God's hand was upon my life. That's what that let me know when I look back. It, it's letting me know that he's been there always with me and he's still there with me and he can be, he's there with you if you desire to have him. If you desire to have him in your life, call on him because he's the only person that's going to save you from, life, from these things in the world. We have to choose to walk away. And, and I, I heard you when you also said that, you know, we make these mistakes. And when it's a mistake, leave it behind. Yep. But we can't keep going back to the same thing. No. You know, 
We talk about, someone was telling me about repentance um, last night. And we know that means to turn away from. And I used to be that woman that would say, I'm sorry, I repent, but go right back to doing the very thing that I'm repenting of. Mm. And wow. That's defeating the purpose of repentance. Why am I truly, sincerely sorry? And it's not till we get to that place of true repentance mm. that can, we can really see the hand of God move in our life. Hallelujah. The freedom of God, the peace of God, the joy of God. I'm not saying we won't go through things and we will go through things. But guess what? When you get in the midst of it, because you dwell in his presence, he is going to keep you through whatever you're going through. Amen. Amen. And, and I, I love that because, you know, we have a God who is real, who's alive, who's living right now. Yes. And, and, and even as I was sharing about this money that was given to these three men of God, these three pastors in the church, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and I asked myself, well, well Lord, you know, why three? And he said, because of my resurrection power, mm. I'm going to show it. I'm going to manifest it. And that's exactly what he did. He manifested Amen. that $100, it got multiplied. Look at that. You know, and I'm just like, I'm still like in awe He's of, a miracle working of that, guy. right? Yes. He can heal us yes. when oh. we are so broken, when mm. we, when we um, are so disappointed, when people hurt us yes. and people that get hurt in the church, you know, I, I want to encourage you that the Lord says to pray for your enemies, Amen. pray for those who, who come against you. And I, and I think it's in Matthew 5, 44, Matthew 5, where it says that to pray for your enemies and bless them. Because you know what? God will turn around and bless you and more. And bless you because you, come on. Yeah, come on. Yes. You know, right? and, yes. and that's what I feel like in this season. Like, I feel like I have favor and blessings on me right now. Like, there's nothing like, like the door that God opens for you, no man can shut. No one can shut. No one can Nobody. shut it, right? And so that's the reason why God, hmm. you know, he brings us on TV so that we can give you encouragement Amen. so that you can be encouraged, inspired, be ignited yes, by the yes, fire yes. of the Holy Ghost so that, you know what, you can have hope because there is hope. There is hope. Yes. A lot of hope, yes. you know, but if you're going to be negative and not believe that God can do anything for you, then you're going to be in the same position in the same area, the same spot that you never came out of. And so how can you receive a blessing if you're still sitting in the same place? You won't. Yes. You can't. Amen. You got to take action. And, yes. and I, you know, again, encourage you um, out there that, that the Lord loves you, even though, you know, sometimes we may not feel that we're worthy. You know, I've had a lot of failures in my life, but I've also had a lot of success in my life. And I, I give God the glory when it comes to both of them, because yes. if I didn't have, to, if I didn't go through the things that I went through, how could I even be right here talking to you? Amen. Right? We yes. wouldn't be here. Amen. So that's the reason why sometimes, you know what, there's a delay because mm. God is processing you for a time such as this. And I want to encourage you today that, that there is hope that whatever it is that is bothering you, talk to God, spend time with the Lord. Listen, you know, to him, not only as you speak and pray to him, but listen to him and ask him, Lord, I need you. How, how, Lord, how, what do I need to do? I want to be closer to you. I, I, I want to submit my life to you. I, I want to be in your will. And if you're yes. not born again yet, maybe you haven't even received Jesus as your savior. Today is your day. All you got to do is believe that Jesus is the son of God. And you will be saved. This says in the Bible that, yes, that if you just say his name, call upon call his on name, Jesus, Jesus, you will be saved. Powerful. And that's exactly what this prodigal son, the prodigal daughter did. They're like, wait a minute. My father, in my physical father, I can go back to him. Yes. And Jesus, the heavenly father, is saying, come back to me too. Come back. Because you just don't know that... The, Yes, we are all sinners, but the forgiveness, when we repent and ask God to forgive us for the things that we've done wrong, mm. as a prodigal father forgave his son yes. because the, the son was saying, look, father, I have sinned against heaven and I have sinned against you. 
what can I do? I, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll serve. Where, what, whatever it is that you want me to do, I will do for you. And the father's like telling his servants, go get me the best, you know, the best goat. You know, go get me the best robe because my son is home. Right? And that's we surrender. give God the glory for that. That's surrender. Right? That is surrender. And that's yes. what the Holy Spirit wants from us. He wants us to surrender. Yes. The Lord reigns again, right? Amen. The Lord reigns. The Lord keeps on reigning upon us. And so it's not about, you know, he's not caring about all your sins because he just wants you. He just wants your heart. He wants it, yeah, a soul, yeah. Amen. Yes, yes. Right? He wants So, us. So in that being the prodigal daughter that you were, what is another encouraging or testimony word that you would like to share with our audience today? Well, I do want to share, and I shared with you yesterday, two days ago actually. So it's a scripture the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Um, as I was preparing to fly out uh, for graduation on October 28th, three days prior to flying out, I found a ulcer on my, and this word is going to encourage someone that's going through infirmities. Mm. So you can see how the Lord is a healer and how he'll intercept at times when you have no control over it. But I found an ulcer on my abdomen and mm. it sits here. I, as I'm speaking, I have wound care still. It's healing. And I went to the doctor and the doctor gave me medication. And I began taking it, and she says, it's probably just irritation, and it just broke out or something. Kept taking it, flew out on the 25th of October. When I got to my destination in Georgia, I went to the um, bathroom to check on my wound. When I looked at it, I had four more ulcers, mm. three sitting underneath this one and one on my upper left thigh. And I looked in the mirror, and I began to ask the Lord, what is this? What's happening? Because I'm now in a place of not being sure, not being certain. And even as a believer, this is where we have to take the word of God. And I began to go to the word and I began to speak that this is not my portion. A Psalm 118 verse 17, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I began speaking that daily. Holy Spirit then spoke to me, Manuka honey. And I'm just at a time like kind of feeling confused and, and, and a little broken. Like, okay, is, is this cancer? It's going to eat into my stomach. I went and bought the Manuka honey and I applied it to every ulcer on my body. The next day, the newest four ulcers were gone that I had saw the day prior after using the Manuka honey. And when I flew back into California, I went back to the doctor. And I told the doctor, I have one ulcer that's still there. And he began to tell me, we're going to give you a different medication now. Hmm. But I kept hearing the word cancer mm. all along. Wow. But the doctors never one time said cancer to me, even though they knew what it was. Mm -hmm. He gave me the medication. Amen. And I just started declaring, I shall not die but live. Amen. And declare the works of the Lord. Amen. This is not my portion. That's right. It has to let me go. That's right. I began to war. I began to walk. I began to pray. And I began to fight like it was nobody's Hallelujah. business. Hallelujah. It is not my time. That's right. And then I called on a ministry that I am connected to. And this woman of God said to me, she knew that I was going in on a Friday to meet with a surgeon regarding this particular wound. And she looked at me when she was on the phone. She didn't look at me. She spoke to me. Maybe someone should go with you. I told her, well, Kaiser's not going to do any surgery. They're going to call me back to have the procedure. She says, no, maybe someone should go because you, you may need someone. They may do the surgery tomorrow. Sure enough, when she went with me, Sister Cora, yes. the very thing she said happened. Before she could get in that waiting room, the doctor, the surgeon looked at me and she said, got to do something right now. Wow. They did my surgery on the spot. Wow, I went into surgery on last Friday. Oh my gosh. She began to clean inside of this wound, mm. around the wound, and it was setting up gangrene. Mm. That woman of God did not know that, but wow. she said they may do something tomorrow. It's not their, the norm, but Holy Spirit knew. 
Amen. And this is where obedience come in. Amen. Like you were saying, yes. obedience is better than sacrifice. That's right. And when you hear the voice of the Lord, we need to move. You don't know what he's doing through another person. It's a life being saved. Yes. And because of her obedience, she's going to be blessed. Woman of God, if you're watching, Karen, you're going to be blessed abundantly for being obedient and moving. And I'm going to say this right now. This wound stopped at my abdominal wall. Mm. It ate past the top layer of my skin. Wow. This cancer into my stomach. Oh, Jesus. Layer. Thank you, Lord. If it wasn't from her hearing the voice of the Lord and the obedience. Yes. And even when he told me to use the Manuka honey to, to rid of the other four, I would not be here today. Hallelujah. And this is a word to just bless someone who may yes. be dealing with infirmities. Yes. Psalm 118, verse 17. Mm. I shall not die but live Amen. and declare the works of the Lord. And I want to share this really quick. Um, while I was going through, the Holy Spirit spoke. I just kept hearing like a tree planted by the rivers of living water. Oh, my gosh. That came into my spirit. I kept hearing it while I was going through. And so I just went to it. I want to read this. This is out of Psalm um, chapter 1, verse 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth the fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Come on. I heard it so clear before I had that surgery. This was the Holy Spirit wow. speaking to me. Hallelujah. And he started to show me a tree, the, uh, like a big tree that's been grown for many years. A bark so thick, and I start seeing the roots like spread it so far under the ground. That's what we need to look like when we believe the word. No matter what happens, we have to believe that we're planted so strong that not even the things in the earth realm can move us. We're in the hands of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's the word, that's the word for myself to encourage me, to encourage those who are listening. To encourage you, sister. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to confirm something with you because yesterday the Lord gave me that same, it was a vision. He, he gave me a vision with a tree, okay? Big, huge tree that is strong, right? Yes. And then I saw rivers wow. of living water that were flowing around the wow. tree. Wow, wow. And the, that's when the Holy Spirit started sharing with me that about... The rivers of living water is not just one or two. It's several streams. And that's how God will multiply you Amen. by giving you several streams of living water. Amen. What was that scripture again? Psalm Psalms 1. 1 verse 3. <laughs> that's Psalms a word for you three. right now. Yes. Because it's confirmation of what God was Amen. showing me yesterday about giving to these men of God. You know, it wasn't giving to them. It was giving to God because God, you know, sometimes we, we have to um, do things that we may not want to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because right. I'm thinking, okay, that's $300, right? $300. And that's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. Right. But then yes. again, you know what? It was because of my obedience that who knows? You just never know why you got to do it. Yes. You may not even understand the reason why you exactly. got to do it, but just do it because when you start doing things like that, God will give you more and exactly. more and more. Amen. And then guess what? Here comes a the blessing blessings, over you. Yeah. Right. And we that's the reason yield. why yeah. all those, those streams of living water are coming around this tree. Who's the tree? God is the tree. Amen. He is the oak tree. You know, he's stable. He's strong, mm -hmm. you know, and he will never give us more than we can handle. Amen. Amen. Right. And he kept and, me. He and kept so me. Yeah. even in in um, Isaiah 53, 5, it says, by his stripes, we are healed. We are healed. We are healed. You got to yes. claim we that. Got you got to declare it. it. When I pray for people that are sick or have an infirmity or something like that, I say, first of all, I want you to say, I am healed in Jesus name. And Amen. once they say that, because it's a it's a declaration yes. that not only you are saying, but that person is also saying to believe that God is going to heal yes. them, whether they're a Christian or not. Yes. God will do it. It's going into the atmosphere. Yeah. So that's yes. the reason why, you know, as men and women of God, we got to declare, we got to read the word of God. We got to have the Holy Spirit illuminate the word 
to us so that we can declare what God is telling us to declare. You know, and I love that scripture, and I, and I can't think of it right offhand right now, but it says, to declare those things that aren't mm-hmm. as, as if they, they are aren't. now. That's right. Right? Yes. And so when you start declaring things over your life and, and saying, Lord, I am a woman of God. I am forgiven. I am loved. I am a child of God. I, I, you know what? I will do great and beautiful yes, things because yes. Jesus is with me. Right? And yes. that's what you've got to declare over yourself, over your life. You know, I, I, it kind of frustrates me sometimes when people know the word of God but aren't doing the word of God. Hmm. There's something in that because how yeah. can you really share the word of God if you're not living the word of God? Yeah. If you're yeah. not doing it, if you're not, how can you tell me about, you know, to evangelize when you, when you can't even disciple anyone? Amen. But you may know the word of God, right? You know yes. the words, right? But you're not doing it. That's being disobedient to the Holy Spirit. And I want to encourage you to do the word of God, to do it in action. You know, it says, Margo, that that we are to love God with all of our soul, our heart and mind, right? And then the other word says, love others as you love yourself. Yes. But if we're not loving others, like, you know, I can go into a building and I can give everyone a hug, but I miss that person in the Mm. corner. What is that? That's what is a, that about? That's a heart that, condition. That, that means that, you know what? You better have some fear over yourself because you know why? The Bible says to love people, to love, yes. to love God, right? And, and, and because God is love, we have to forgive people. And it's Amen. not about them coming to you. It's about you going to them yes. and saying, forgive me for what I've done wrong. You know what? And God looks at your heart. And says, that's it. That's all I wanted you to do. do. Because he wants to give you blessings. You know, he wants to fulfill the things, the desires of your heart. As it says in Psalms 37, 3 and 4. It says, trust the Lord with your heart. And he will bring the desires of your heart. And, And so, you know what? I never thought 10 years ago when I came back to the Lord that I would be on TV. Even though it was a desire of my heart from a little girl. And God's like, well, I'm not going to put you in the world to, you know, to go, you know, broadcast. I'm going to, I'm going to put you in, in this time, in, in this place to share the word of God, to show people what I've been doing in your life so that they, so that there will be a hope in them. Amen. 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 You're doing it. How many books have you written so far? <laughs> I lost Come count. On. There's How many? one, there's one that came out in October, Blueprints from Heaven. It's a women's devotional. Let's see, there's one coming out in January about Esther. Wow. Look on Esther. <laughs> so yeah, have, I have probably more than eight. Wow. Possibly somewhere. This is, this is amazing. I lost count because it's for the Lord. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. I, I don't even keep count of these things. He and just you know keep what? Blessing me. That, that's, that's humility right there. Really. Again, <laughs> you know, I, I see so many people that... They feel like they know everything, right? And, and to God be the glory, you know, maybe they do. But, yeah. but there's also a, a pride in that. Yes, And God absolutely. doesn't want us to be prideful. We've got to make he, room to He grow. wants us to be humble. I mean, Amen. I know that Margot has a humble spirit. She, she has a very humble spirit. And, and you know, sometimes I got to like, you know, I got to pull things out of her because, you know, I want to know, you know. And then, you know, here it, com- here it comes, right? But, but that's a trust, actually, you know. And I feel like that's a trust between sisters because, Amen. you know, I, I always try to be transparent. I want to be transparent in my life. I've done drugs. I slept around with men. Um, you know, I had a baby out of wedlock. Um, I, I did bad things, you know. I... I, um, I, I'm a sinner, right? And, and that was my life before, even though I grew up as a Christian in the church, in a Pentecostal church, and I strayed away from God. I was the prodigal daughter that strayed away. And yeah, and it took many years for me to come back. But guess what? I came back because it was God. It was the God that was living inside of me. Even though Amen. I was running away from God, I was doing whatever Cora wanted to do. You couldn't go too far. <laughs> but, but guess what? He always brings you back. And I have never looked back or gone back to that life. 
Amen. Because I see where God is taking me now. And, it, and it's a beautiful, beautiful ride. And even yes, though the yes, road yes. may be narrow, I'm going to be hanging on for life. Come I may on, fall, but I'm going to get myself back up. Just like you should. If yes. you're in sports and you know how to play sports or, you know, you're in a group activity and sometimes things happen and you may fall down, let me tell you, you're going to get yourself back up, right? Because you want your team to win. Yes. You, you, you want to be in that winning position. I know where I'm at right now. I know I'm in a winning position. I know that I'm getting the crown of life, the crown of salvation. You can have it too. The Lord reigns. The Lord is going to reign over your life today, tomorrow, forever. But you got to, you got to talk to me. It's all about relationship. Amen. It's about us having a relationship Amen. right now. And then we invite God into our hearts. And guess what? Now you're having a relationship with the Heavenly Father who loves you so much. Amen. And you are forgiven. You are forgiven just like the prodigal son was forgiven. His father lavished him and hugged him. And, and, and that's what God is doing with you. He wants to lavish you with gifts. He wants to bless he your will, life. He, he wants to heal your children, your grandchildren. Yes. You know, all of us have, you know, problems with our families, you know, because the devil wants to come and to Bring still division. kill and divide, right? But God said, look, I want to give you an abundance. I want you to live an abundant life with me. Amen. And, and it's so beautiful. Yes, it um, is. We have a few minutes left if you want to share something else or yes you know well as you were speaking i heard the lord say this so clear and i need to say it only the things we do for christ will last mm. that that's what i heard so loud and clear even those that are believers and they're moving in ministry and you're doing it for self decrease because god is not getting the glory you are and so we this is even as i've come out of this place of in, in and i'm in recovery and healing you know, God has me in a different space now. And even though I was, I was humble before, but this let me know even more that I can only trust and rely on him because he has the last say. That's what I kept hearing. God has the last say. And everything that I've done in ministry, I surrendered it to him as I was going Amen. through. Amen. I said, Lord, if you don't do another thing for me, I still give you the glory. If the last thing is the doctorate, I still give you the glory. So everything you do, let it be for him. Get the self out of, out of the way. It's not about man. It's not about what man, drawing man to you. But God, God's a light being on you shining, drawing man to him. You're the vessel. Amen. That's what I want to say. <laughs> That's the word right there. Thank you, Sister Margo, Amen. for sharing. And I forgot to introduce myself. I am... <laughs> I am Pastor Cora Langford, Amen. and um, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to be here sharing the Word of God, Amen. you know, with, with all of you out there. Um, we are going to be praying for you that God heals your broken heart, that, you know what, new things are coming your way, that, that you know what, you have a Savior who lives, that you can call upon His name if you need a healing, if you need a miracle, if you need a breakthrough. Yes. God is here for you. He loves you so, so much. And this is another thing. We need to forgive people. We need to love yes. people because, you know what, the Bible says, you know, that we can do all these things. We can prophesy. We can lay hands on the sick. We can cast out demons. But if you do not love, God does not know you. Matthew 6, 14 and 15, it says, forgive your brother because God will forgive you. If you do not forgive your brother, God will not forgive you. Amen. So, we need forgiveness in order for us to do what God truly wants us to do, and that's love everyone, even our enemies. We have to love them. And I'm telling you that there's so many people out there that are talking bad about others who are doing bad things. You know what? Vengeance is God. Amen. You know, it's, it's not for me to worry about. I'm not going to worry about it. If people are talking about me and gossiping about me, I am not going to worry about it. I'm going to keep on doing what God has called me to do. That's it. Amen. It's on them and God, you know, and, and they're going to have to speak to the Lord about issues. But I'm encouraging you today. The Lord reigns. He's going to reign over your life. He will help you. He will bless you. He, he, will, he will help you through the times that you need to get through. And remember, the process isn't lost. It's not. The time may be lost a little bit. 
but, but the time right now is not lost. It's, it's, it may be delayed, like it says in Habakkuk 2.2, 2, that write down the vision and wait, even though it may be delayed, wait for it because mm -hmm. you know what? It will come to pass. That's why I love to write goals down because I, yes. when I write goals down, you know, or, or whatever God's, you know, telling me to write down or do, and I love to watch them come to pass. I pray over it. I pray over it. Because they spirit. will. So we have like two minutes left. Yes. And, and I just want to encourage you out there that if you feel like um, giving a donation, um, OCN um, broadcast, um, the Lord reigns, um, you know, it's going to be used for, for many other evangelists to come on here, pastors, you know, prophets, um, worshipers, so that we can share the word of God to encourage you. I hope to, that today that you have been encouraged by myself and, and Sister Margo. Um, it's, it's a blessing to be here. I, I, I give God the glory. I thank God for all the miracles. Yes, um, you know, we are, we are here for you. We want to pray for you. And, and I, I believe that um, you can write in if you, you know, want or need a miracle. We will pray for you, you know. And, and I'm just asking God right now to touch your heart to touch your body part where, yes, wherever you may need healing Heal just put your hand Jesus. right there if you, it's your shoulder or if it's your leg or maybe even your head maybe it's your heart them, just put your put your hand touch wherever it is and we're going to trust God with Heal you them, we're going to come into agreement Jesus. that you are being healed right now holy spirit yes. is healing you in the name of Jesus that yes, by the blood of Jesus by the yes, Je God. by Jesus DNA that you are being touched right now yes, Holy God. Spirit touch them heal Lord, them let there be a miracle or you are the miracle maker yes, the way maker father yes, thank you Holy Spirit for Lord, being there with them right now Lord. and touching them in Jesus Hallelujah. mighty name thank you for joining thank us you, tonight as the Lord reigns we love you I love amen. you we love you God loves you God even bless more. you God bless amen. you amen amen <laughs>